Hi, I'm Lena Michalik with Sportsman's Warehouse, and I am going to introduce you to the two main types of shooting ranges. So if you've never actually taken a firearm out to a range, uh, it can be a bit intimidating because there's not a lot of information on what it's gonna be like or what's out there, or what's required. So hopefully this will give you a little bit of comfort and confidence to actually get out there and go shoot. So the two main types of ranges there are are indoor and outdoor. Each, uh, obviously kind of self-explanatory, one is an indoor range, like the one I'm filming in right now, and then outdoor range is where you're outdoors. Uh, indoor ranges tend to have a few more restrictions, like a lot of them you cannot shoot uh, shotguns in. There are different caliber restrictions and ammunition restrictions. The same, though, can also apply to some outdoor ranges. A lot of them don't let you shoot like tracer rounds or steel core ammo or other things like that. So with all the suggestions and information I give today in this video, biggest thing is just make sure you do your research on the internet before you show up and make a phone call and ask all the questions. Realize every person that is at a range has asked the same questions that you want to ask. So go ahead and do it. Get the information you need uh, before you show up so you can have a great experience. At every firearms range you'll go to, you will most likely have to sit through or take a written uh, or possibly just sit through a safety brief going over their specific rules at the range. But at every firearms range you go to, you will be required to wear both safety glasses and hearing protection. Depending on the facility you visit, you might be able to purchase or rent firearms, targets, and ammunition. But once again, it's up to you as the shooter to call ahead before and make sure you're showing up with everything needed. When you do show up to that range, indoor or out, you're not just gonna walk in with your firearm. All of these have chamber flags in, which are not always required, but it's something that brings me a lot of comfort. And the chamber flag is this here in my pistol and in this MPX. And what it does is it just shows everyone around me that my firearm is unloaded. And that just makes everybody comfortable. So I always love to run a chamber flag, but when you do show up, you'll wanna have your firearm totally unloaded and in a bag whenever you approach. Now I know showing up to the range for the very first time can be intimidating, but realize we all kind of, we all did that at one point. And the thing that I can suggest that brings the most comfort to me when I go to a firearms range is showing up with an actual plan. Uh, a lot of times we kind of just show up with a gun and maybe a box of ammo and we're just like, I'm here to shoot. Uh, if you take a little bit of time before you show up and set a goal, whether it be small or big, maybe it's, uh, you know, get all 50 rounds and, you know, a size this big or to work on rapid fire or to work on drawing out of a holster, showing up with some type of plan for when you get to the range will really build your confidence. And I always like to view any firearms range, indoor or outdoor, as the gun gym. So you wouldn't just show up at the gym and go, I need to work out. You would show up at the gym and go, I need to work out, you know, core, upper body, lower body. You'd have a specific thing and specific workouts to do that when you're there. So think of the gun range as the same type of thing. I'm gonna show up with my pistol and I wanna work on accuracy or speed or drawing uh, out of a holster. That's all up to you. But showing up with that plan really builds your confidence and makes you a better shooter by the end of it. So don't be intimidated by shooting ranges. Find whatever is local around you. There are public and private. Private usually takes a membership, uh, but you have access to usually a larger facility. But a public range is a fantastic place to kind of dip your toes in. You can usually rent a lane in an indoor range or a bay in an outdoor range and get some rounds down range and start to become more familiar with the environment and the settings and what you'll need in the future to get better.